Hello, this is Timothy Perfect from Two Canoe Software, and I want to show you a quick demo of how you can use uh, WinClone 8.2 or later to be able to insert drivers into Windows after uh, you restore a WinClone image or just to any bootcamp partition. So um, what I have here, uh, I have WinClone Pro, uh, it could just be WinClone as well, um, and a Windows 10 WinClone image, as well as my Windows support uh, folder for my 2018 MacBook Pro. I downloaded this, I went into uh, Bootcamp Assistant, and then I went up to the action menu and say, download Windows support software. And it asked me what folder I wanna save it into, and I saved it into this folder. So this has all the drivers that uh, you download from Apple for that Bootcamp partition. So um, this Windows 10 doesn't have any of the Apple drivers installed. Um, so it could be one that you're migrating from another machine, or it could be a vanilla you know, Windows uh, installation that, that doesn't, that hasn't been restored before. So I'll go ahead and restore that WinCloud image. So I'll select uh, the Windows 10. I'll select my Windows 1. So now I'll restore that image. All right, so now the WinCloud image has been restored. And what WinCloud does now, it, did, it looks to see if the Apple SSD driver is there. If it doesn't, it'll prompt you to inject drivers. It doesn't require you to have or not have it to inject the drivers, but that's kind of an indicator that determines if it's gonna prompt you. So we'll click on inject driver. And uh, what it's prompting you now is select the drivers folder. So we have our Windows support one, and I'll do the WinPE drivers. And you can choose any of the top level folders because it'll search for the drivers that are supported. And then the destination is Windows, which is the bootcamp partition I just restored. And then I'll click on Reject. And it'll go through and look and see which drivers um, that uh, WinCloud supports injecting. So right now it, it found the USB VHCI and Apple SSD. So those are the ones for keyboard and mouse and also for the SSD. So I'll click on OK. And now it's injected the drivers. And so those drivers have now been injected. I, I boot into Windows and I should be able to successfully boot into Windows if those drivers were the issue. Which usually it is the case if you're migrating from an older Mac to a newer one or there's some issues with the, uh, the drivers. Um, you, can, you don't have to get prompted and restored to do that. Out of the tools menu, you have the add Apple SSD driver. It actually does more than just the SSD driver even though that's one of the more critical ones. So you just go back here, select, do the exact same thing you did before, select a driver folder, uh, click on the destination, which is Windows, and hit inject driver. So now the drivers are injected. So um, the uh, now I can hold down the option key, or I can select the Windows as my bootcamp partition, or my next bootable volume, boot into Windows, and uh, Windows will have those drivers available, and should be able to boot up and uh, detect the SSD, use the SSD to boot, as well as the keyboard and mouse. So that's uh, a quick demo on how to use the new inject driver or insert driver feature of WinClone 8.2 or later. Um, be sure to click on subscribe for more of these videos. Also, uh, hit the like button because that makes me feel good and it's, it's nice for you to do. Um, please also uh, visit us at twocanoes.com slash WinClone and uh, for the most recent updates um, and download the most recent copy of WinClone. Thank you very much for watching and I'll catch you later.